Hey everybody. So here we have this Dell Latitude 5498 for service. This thing is roughly six years old now from 2019. Hard blue 2019 was that long ago. But the reason why it's here is due to performance issues. It's running very slow and I've come to the conclusion that the reason, the main reason why it's running slow is the fact it's running a hard disk drive and not a solid state drive with Windows 11. Now, of course, while this computer does meet the Microsoft Elite Class System requirements for Windows 11, Windows 11 is a bit slow on hard drives like Windows 10. So we're going to be swapping it out for an SSD. So first and foremost, with this machine, what we got to do is we need to actually go in and disable BitLocker because it's actually enabled on this system. And I should note BitLocker nowadays because thanks to Windows 11 24H2, enabling it by default in many cases, you may have to turn off BitLocker first before you go through the process of cloning a drive. So here is video footage of me turning off BitLocker on this machine. Okay, so with this specific computer, first thing we we'll have to do is we're going to have to turn off BitLocker drive encryption so that way we can copy the data off the existing hard drive to our new SSD. So what to do is go into the control panel, go to all items, and then go to BitLocker drive encryption, and here we have to turn it off. Okay, so it's asking if we want to turn off BitLocker. Um, it, it says your drive will be decrypted. This might take a long time, but you can keep using your PC during the de decryption process. So we'll go ahead and turn that off and we'll come back and begin work on this thing once it's completed. Okay, so BitLocker has finished turning itself off, so now we're ready to get started on swapping out the drive. Okay, let's go and get started on removing the hard drive so what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to be pulling a drive out of the system and I'm going to be using the Cucur Plexi over here to clone the data over to a new SSD now in the case that you have one of these laptops and you're wanting to clone the data to a new disk before installing the new disk I do have a video posted on how to do that you would need some sort of adapter. So what we're doing in this case is we're actually going from the stock hard drive to an NVMe SSD. So in this case, what you could do is you can install the SSD into the laptop and keep the hard drive in place and use some cloning software like what I use in my video on cloning to do the clone and then pull the hard drive out. So in this case, we're pulling the hard drive out we're cloning it to a new SSD and then we're installing the new SSD into this laptop. So I looked up this laptop online and then it should have an NVMe slot, M.2 slot. So first thing we'll do is remove these screws. So what we're doing is we're cloning the data over to a new SSD and we're taking the hard drive out. Okay, so it appears the screws actually remain in the bottom of this, with this shell here. So, in case you're wondering why your, yours are not coming out, that could be why. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, let's make sure it doesn't power on. We'll get an X-Acto knife and we're going to carefully lift up on this tab here. And the bottom should open right up. And we do want to be careful um, when sticking the knife in here because we don't want to stick it in too deep and risk causing damage to something. Or if the laptop's LiPo battery is somewhere right in this area, we don't want to chance puncturing it, which would be bad. This is why I do not like modern laptops that have the internal battery. I much prefer the good old-fashioned laptops 
where you just pull the pack right off the back and you proceed to work on the system. Knowing that it's de-energized, you don't have to worry. All right, so it's giving away. Still be careful here. So this laptop actually is a little brittle. There's actually a crack in the plastic there. I don't see that every day. Try to be especially careful there. <clears throat> so as I mentioned, Right there is our life of a battery. It's not too far from the edge here. Matter of fact, there's the connector for it right there. That's why I was saying you got to be careful with these things. Okay, let's see here. A hard drive is there, so we'll go ahead and pull a hard drive out of this thing. This should lift out. Okay. The hard drive is out. There's our hard drive. Okay, so I'm currently in the process of copying the data from the hard drive to the new M.2 SSD. Now I'll point out something. So the way this thing works or is put together is it only allows you to use either a hard disk drive or an M.2 SSD because as you had seen the hard drive is located directly in front of this M.2 slot here. So it's either one or the other. And what Dell has decided to do here is they have this little spot here to where an adapter would normally go to install the SSD. <laughs> so Dell wants you to buy an adapter piece to go right here. It's like a little piece of plastic more or less that goes right there and the SSD gets installed into that. That's ridiculous. Um, the good news, however, is on Thingiverse, or one of the websites out there for STL for 3D printing, is an STL for this adapter. So I'm gonna download that STL, and I'm gonna 3D print that piece, and I'll have it ready once the data is finished transferring, then I can install the SSD into this laptop. But yeah, how ridiculous is that? Typical Dell, I guess. Okay, so here's the piece. Gotta take some support material off of it, but we'll get it ready and see if it fits. Okay, so you can see the little piece does in fact fit. That's what it looks like after all the support material is removed. And a huge thank you to the creator of this SDL. Um, I'll have a link in the description of this video. If anybody else is working on one of these laptops and happens to have access to a 3D printer and you want to 3D print this piece, 
to install the SSD into your laptop. So what I had to do here was, in addition to removing the supports, I also had to use a screw to thread the hole where the SSD screw goes in because it was nearly shut. I had to use a screw to open it up and make the threads there. So all we got to do now is once the data finishes copying over, we'll go ahead and install our SSD. Simple as that. Okay, so our data has finished copying over and we'll go ahead and install the new SSD into this laptop. It's got to take it off of my NVMe to USB 3 adapter here. And we'll transfer this over. And check fitment with our 3D printed adapter. And start that just like that. And you can see that's a perfect fit. So we'll go ahead and put our screw in to fasten this thing into place. Now if this screw is not big enough, then we may have to get a bigger one. Yeah, there is concern about that screw not being quite big enough, so I have a different screw here I can use. That has a bigger head on it. Okay, that's a whole lot better. All right, so let's see here. There you go. Now, the thing is with this particular laptop is if I didn't mention earlier, you cannot use both a hard drive and a solid state drive in this thing. So, with this laptop, if you want to clone your drive to an NVMe SSD, you'll need something like this to do it. Um, this is an NVMe to USB bridge adapter. The SSD gets mounted into this thing and it connects to a USB 3 port and you can use disk cloning software to copy your data that way or you can just pull the drive out and use this to do it on a whole different system <clears throat> if you so desire. So the thing with this laptop is the hard drive mounting cage it has <clears throat> this flexible material on the back of the cage so I cannot install this back in here with the SSD so we're just going to keep it out now the good news is I know the person pretty well who owns this laptop so I doubt they'll ever need that hard drive cage again because they're now using the SSD but it's just something to I guess keep in mind so I'll keep I'll keep my hands on this or I may send it back with them I don't know I may put it in a little bag with the screws and everything and just send it back with it that way uh, they'll have it so now all we gotta do is just put this thing back together and make sure it works okay I'm just going ahead and putting this back together it's kind of the reverse of taking it apart it snaps in and we just put our screws in okay and while I have this laptop here I noticed that um, the lid has some slop to it little snap there I need to go back in but I noticed the lid had some little uh, had a little bit of slop to it back and forth play and I think these screws yep they've all backed out so while we have it here let's go ahead and tighten these screws back down
That's what happens with time when you're constantly opening and closing the lids on these laptops. Okay, and as you can see, we are back up and running. Now, I can't really show much with this laptop due to the nature of the data that's on here, but we have swapped out the hard drive for the solid state drive, and that should help speed this thing up a bit. So, anyways, the rest of it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video from QCareer Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and tick the bell so you get notified of a new video I post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends to get the word out. In addition, I have a second YouTube channel. That's QCompMTDX. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.